Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Well, I survived my first week back to work. Some days I wasn't sure. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm glad to be back to work. Um, this is Thursday and the summer program I'm subbing in only runs Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, so it's kind of like a short week anyway. But it does take a little time to adjust going from being on vacation to being back to work. But I'm thankful to have the work. So the first thing that I want to share with you are some things that were gifted to me from one of the lovely ladies that I work with at the school. And she had um, a couple of these phone boxes that um, she just figured I would be able to repurpose, which I shall. So I just wanted to show those to you. And then she gave me these lovely birds and blooms magazines which I couldn't wait to get so I'll be um, using those for um, some junk journals and uh, some other projects so I was thankful to have those and then I have this package now this is a package that I mailed out and have it's been lost since the end of June and it just kind of got stuck in the tracking. And you might notice there's no postage on it anymore. There was postage on it when I mailed it out. And it says on it, postage due. Well, I'm going to take this to the post office when I um, remail it. This was an embellishment box that I made for Barbara Sweeney. Um, I already got her embellishment box quite a while ago and um, she has been patiently waiting for hers so the good thing in all of this is that at least it's been found and it's back in my hands and I can fix it and uh, send it back out to her and hope and pray this time it gets to her but it's just really irritating that this is how the post service takes care of our packages so I just thought I'd throw that in there and share with y'all. And also, I'm going to share this um, in the group where um, we had done the swap so that Barbara knows that I have found it and this is how it came. And I will be sending that back out to her. Look at this hair caught it and everything. Anyway, I'm a little slightly irritated, but I'll get over it. What are you going to do, right? So the other thing I have to share with you is in the mail today I got my package from Donna Little. These are the items that I purchased last Saturday. Um, I won't be able to purchase this Saturday unfortunately because I haven't gotten paid yet and Mama's bank account says mm -mm -mm, you're not to go on Donna's channel this weekend. <laughs> So, unfortunately, I've got to miss out on this time, but the good thing is I know there will be other times, so I'm trying not to be too sad about it. So, let's focus on the positive, which is this package that I got today. And I was a little naughty last Saturday. I did order quite a bit. So, let's see. Hopefully I will remember the right prices on things too because um, I didn't go back and write down like what the lots were. I have the prices, but I don't um, have the exact lots. So let's see. This was um, I believe this is the one that was five. 75 and it's like a I'm not sure what that is now I don't remember it's two pieces well that is pretty it's a real pretty cream color might have been a sleeve and I want to say it was like a necklace but that's I want to say it was like a neckline but I could be wrong it looks awful small for that so I'm not sure but anyway it's beautiful it's a pretty cream satin color actually goes this way and I believe that was five dollars okay 
Oh wait, no, this is this is the neck this was the neck piece that I got. Isn't that gorgeous? When I saw all those dangles and stuff on there, I just had to get this one. Of course I haven't been looking even to see if I'm in frame. I hope I was for the first one. But that is just beautiful. But that wasn't Sorry, guys, I'm trying to remember, trying to keep track of it. You know what? I think this time I'm just going to have to share what I got because I can't remember what was what. There was one thing I got that was $14, no, $16. Maybe, oh, you know what? Maybe it was... No, nope, these don't go together. Do these? These go together. This is the only bad part about opening the package with you guys because I haven't um, looked at it ahead of time to um, figure out what's what. So anyway, I'm just going to show you what I got because I can't remember what is what. Now there's some things I got two of. Those ones I will know. Like this. I got two of these. I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. But anyway, I had to have the purple. And I was very thankful that I was able to get that. I got some um, purple appliques that also came from the same dress in my gypsy kit that I got from her. So these will go well together. There was two and I bought both. So there's that. Okay, I showed you this already with the pretty dangles. And then I have this one and a quarter yard removable. So this is um, trim that is still on the satin, but it can be taken off without losing the sequins and the beads. showed you this. This is a sleeve. Okay, and then I've got this trim. It's marked one yard. Hmm. I don't know. I can't help it. I'm still trying to figure it out and I still don't know what's what. So... I need to just stick to what I said and just show it to you. Show you all the pretty loveliness. So there's this trim. And then this is one and three quarters yards of another trim. It's like cut work. Of course these are nice because you can cut them apart and use them individually so that's a lot there that you can use so those are really pretty and then there's this trim that's really pretty too it's all really pretty we know that there's quite a bit of that one I think I got two of these this might have been three dollars a yard and I got two of them okay, and then there's this one and three quarters yards this one that tape sticks good anyway there's what that looks like it's just a real delicate trim with sequins and a pearl on the flower and then I have this one 
It's one and a half yards. That's what that looks like. You guys might wonder why I keep getting all this stuff besides the fact that it's beautiful. Look at that. That has white sequins on it. I haven't seen them with white sequins before. Isn't that pretty? But anyway, the reason I keep getting this stuff is not only because I use it in projects, but um, my birthday is coming up in September. And starting the end of August, I'm going to start a birthday challenge. I haven't done any challenges yet. I've been on YouTube probably two and a half, three months. And because, you know, this crafting community is so supportive, I think I'm two people away from having um, 300 subbies. So I just, I want to thank you all for being so supportive and taking me so far so quickly. I just really appreciate that. So anyway, for the whole month of September, I am going to do a birthday challenge where, you know, people can make whatever they want. And I will tell more about that as the time gets closer. But I just wanted to throw that in there, you know, as I'm purchasing all these things from Donna. Um, a lot of these things will be used as prizes for that um, giveaway. So, if there was any question <laughs> as to why I'm ordering so much. Also, I am just building my stash on laces and um, wedding trims and material and all that kind of stuff because up until um, three months ago when I, or two and a half months, however long it's been, my first challenge was with Evie Fuladu and I had never done a wall hanging. I hadn't worked with laces and doilies. And I've worked with laces, but not like wedding applique kind of laces and um, that kind of stuff. I'd never done anything with that stuff before. Her wall hanging was my first challenge, and it was the first time I had worked with that kind of material. And I just fell in love with it. So now I am working on building my stash. So anyway just a little bit about that and this lovely piece is what she sent me as a thank you gift can I say enough how much I appreciate this woman I got some of this in my um, gypsy in one of my gypsy kits and I just loved it so now here I have another piece of it so I'm very grateful for that thank you so much Donna so yeah so that's um, all I have for today and um i will talk to you all next time thanks for watching thanks for stopping by thanks for subscribing and um hitting that thumbs up and ringing that bell so you know when i put up another video hope you all have had a great day um, i'm looking forward to a day off tomorrow so i can get back in my craft studio i haven't been in there this week so Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you next time. Bye.